What's going on people? It's Yanni, JWL right here, Jesse. The boys are over there somewhere in the background just getting ready. Um, and Jesse right now, you're feeling good. Just a quick little, how's it been playing for hashtag? It's been nice, man. We played, obviously it's been a lot of cup games. I think this is my this is my first league game. Yeah, this is my first league game. So it's obviously uh, it's a bit of change, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to getting back to the league and hopefully getting some points on the board. You're gonna score today? Me? Yeah, obviously. You said that last time. Rick, yeah. how was your uh, commentary debut? Yeah, it was good, mate. Yeah? Yeah. Enjoyed it. Learned well from uh, Seb and uh, got through it without swearing, so all good. And did you uh, emulate your heroes in commentary? Yeah, it was like Michael Owen and Steve McMahon. Just slow, boring. Yeah. Very. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> That's two. Any days of you doing it on the pitch? Wow. So basically, we're wearing yellow shorts because there's a kit clash with the other team. Albie, how'd you feel about the yellow shorts? Yeah, I like them. I think they go quite well. You're looking a bit. Yeah, they're a bit big for me. Uh, with the boots as well. With the boots, yeah. I'm, a, I'm basically a B. Oh, say that again for the camera because that was quite funny. No, no, don't do nothing for the camera, Yanni. You know that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Finest example of football meets FIFA. You're not a FIFA player. You are. <laughs> you are. Yeah, I'm good. A melt. Shory, what are you telling me? Right, I'm at a game on a nice sunny day. Um, but I'm Shory's going to get nothing. Shory's opening FIFA packs. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, what a player. Is that Joe Gomez? Worst pack I've ever seen. It's great. Right, here we go again. Every Liverpool player is like overpriced. By big like player, team. big, big game. Why are Liverpool players 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 overpriced? Popular, because Champions of Europe. Yeah, yeah. They're all yeah, just all absolutely ridiculous. You got no one, did you? We, we got absolutely zero. <laughs> Right, whilst we're here with the boys, I should give you a heads up that later this week, we've got two videos with them with Declan Rice at the FIFA 20 World Premiere in London last week. They're going to be double decent. One of them is going to be on Spencer's channel and one's going to be on the hashtag eSports channel. So make sure to subscribe now, find out when they're live. And don't forget that FIFA 20 featuring Volta Football is out on the 27th of September on all platforms. And you can pre-order now. This is Vlogception. What you think about it? This one definitely looks better. Take that, hold the player off, hold the player off. There you go, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Steve, weekly regular prediction for today. Uh, gonna be tricky, pitch is very poor, but I think, I think we'll nick it, I think we'll go a 3-1 win. Yeah, who scores? Jesse. Joe Smith, Richard. Heard it at first. You got it. Change of formation. Because of the change of formation, it's like change of personnel as well. There are no excuses about the pitch, but my side and the way we're going to play is with the pitch in mind, because we have to be adaptable. I've tried to make us physically quite big today, because I think set pieces are going to be key. Football we play today, we play in their half of the pitch. No risks defensively. Today is about limiting the amount of chances the opposition can get. So we head high, we head long. We volley high, we volley long from the back. We, George and Richo, you're prepared to go and run into ugly areas, to go and compete, to get round each other. If they make mistakes, be ready to capitalise. It's better showing another string to our boat. We'd love to go to places every week and be able to say, look, get it down and play and, and, and get on the half turn and, and play off each other and one and two touch passing. But today, today, we'll, that will only lead to errors and mistakes. You've got to be prepared to do something you're not comfortable with. If we do that and we do it well, because we've got to do it with quality, I'm not asking you to just lump it aimlessly. I'm asking you to put it into areas with care. But if we do that, then there's a chance that you give yourself the opportunity to play later on in the game. To come off here with three points today, it will have to be satisfying, it really will. I had good performances the other night. I saw people like you looking like your old self, playing with a controlled <laughs> aggression and a brightness and a voice. Same again today. Let's go, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Hashtag United game. We're here at Cricklefield Stadium. We're away today. We're playing against Ilford FC. They are currently 13th in the league. We are currently sitting in third with a few games in hand. I'm joined for the second game in a row. Well, not my second game because Seb was on last commentary, but his second game, Ricky Evans on commentary duty. How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm gutted I'm not playing, but 
nice to be here next to you, next to the man himself, commentating on this game. It's the next best thing, isn't it, if you can't play? It's not um, a bad thing. We're playing a 4-4-2 today. We're going to go through the team in a minute, but different sort of formation on a uh, different kind of pitch, right? Think it's a good idea? Yeah, I think they're just sit setting out to play with the pitch in mind as well. We've, I think we'll get the ball wide and try and get a few more crosses in with uh, the two boys up top. Yeah, it's going to be... Uh, the pitch is quite dry, we'll say that. It, it, it's not a filter on the screen you're seeing. It's just not very green. So there's not going to be a lot of football played on that team today, but hopefully we get the win. Big three points, keep ourselves at the top end of the table and keep that run of wins going again. So we had a little bit of a, uh, a blip in the cup, so to speak, but league form has still been very good. We want to continue that. It's our first league game in a while. Yeah, I mean, we've got to keep the run going. Uh, as you say, we haven't lost in the league since the first game of the season. And yeah, momentum's key and we look to try and carry it on here. Let's do it. Hashtag United versus Ilford. Let's have a look at the team. So in goal today, we've got Cav Clark starting his first game in the league. He's been given the nod uh, after not conceding either uh, times, the two times he's played in the cup games recently. In defence, we've got Jack Martin at left back. For us, in Ghana and Luke Wilson continuing their partnership at centre back. Simon Petty starting for the first time in league football for a long time uh, right back. In midfield, we've got a, a middle four with Albert Keith on the left, Ross Gleed and Sam Biles in the middle, Jesse Walla Lassen on the right, which means we've got two up front, Neil Richmond and George Smith, both our top goal scorers this season, as you'd expect when you're uh, playing up front. They're up front together. 4 4 2. Let's see what happens. On the bench, we have Lee Hurstett, Ryan Adams, Joshua Sude, Sam Raj Gill and Marcus Stamp. Hashtag going to get kick-off then. Jesse Wallalassen going to take it and get us underway here at the Cricklefield Stadium. As it goes back to Sam Biles, who's going to look straight away for Albie Keith. It's going to go out of play. Pitch not particularly wide. It's a big kick here that's come through George Smith. He's got Jesse next to him. He's not used him yet, though. Holding up the ball well, George. He's going to play it inside to Ross Gleed. Yeah. Get it out of his feet and hit it on the left foot. Ricky, you told him to shoot there, but that's not his best work. No, unfortunately it didn't go in, but it opened up. He's 25, maybe 30 yards out, but it's opened up in front of him. He's had a go. Unfortunately, it didn't work out this time. Keeley, the goal kick, not a particularly good one. It's going to fall short. Gleed has called it and he's got a push in his back for his troubles there. So, hashtag free kick. Free kick in from Jesse. It's a good delivery. Looking for Richo, flicks it on, off oh, the bar. Oh, Peds. Peds. Oh, he doesn't get there. Would it help my sweeps take out? What a chance for hashtag. Great header from Richo. Whipped back in by Sam Biles, but doesn't make the front man. That's a messy one in the box there and is eventually kicked over. As full set pieces are going to be a big, big threat for us today. Jesse's got unbelievable delivery. And then, as we said, the size we've got in the team, we should always be a threat from everyone. Clark with a kick. Come, could come through to Richo, takes a touch. Touches it into trouble, but he finds Albie Keith on the left, who shot falls to almost George oh. Smith. It just needed to be helped on, Ricky. I think he's just on his heels there, George. I think he'd done it for Richo's header as well when it come off the uh, bar. And I think he's just on his heels there again. Playing left of a four-man midfield today. Wilson looking for Richo. It's not going to make it through to him. It could come to Ross Gleed on the edge of the box, though. As he carries the ball, hits it on the right foot. Get and in he's there. In. And it's Captain Ross Gleed, who can shoot on his right foot as well as his left. Second goal of the season. Decent stuff, Ricky Evans. Yeah, he started well. He was back to his best in the last game. He started well and bright today on the front foot. His earlier shot didn't go too well, but he's always good for a goal, Ross. Something that Ross Glee can do in centre mid is get the ball and carry it through and be commanding in there and just brush off anyone trying to get the ball off him. And he's a decent strike there on the weaker foot. Keeper can do anything about it. No, Dev speaks about it a lot with Ross. Once he gets going and there's no one in this league that will stop him. He's a big boy. They'll have to foul him to stop him. And they ain't got near him there. And a composed finish with his right foot there. Now get it over to Sam Biles. Got Albie to his right. He seems to have swapped wings with Jesse at the minute. Albie with a lovely touch. Come on, Albie. He's beating his man. Can he deliver on the right? No, he goes on to his left. Still with the ball. Puts it across. He's going to win. Great little skill there from Albie. Little touch around the corner. Onto it. Gets us a throw, I think. Richo wins a knock-on. Advantage played, I think, by the ref. George Smith trying to keep it alive. Not going to get the free kick. Good bit of skill in the middle there from the number four. He looks to be one of their better players, Oakman. Jesse should probably get that one back, but Peds gets there. Looks for Albie. Knocks it on towards Richo. Richo gives it to Jesse. Albie's continued his run. Good footwork from Jesse. Ross Gleed finds Sam Biles in space. Biles fancies the strike on his left foot, drags it a bit. Getting forward now with Samal. Biles puts a foot in. Comes back to Kiamo, who's way out of position. 11 on the edge of the box, trying to get a shot off. Little Cruyff turn, hits it quickly. And Clark was scrambling a little bit. Luckily, it's wide for a goal kick. Again, another example there, Spen, of just us standing off and giving him too much respect. Able to turn and get a shot away. Luckily, gone past the post. 
Peds throws it to Jesse. Gives it back to Peds. Returns it to Jesse once again. On the right side, Kane delivery. Whips across in. It's a great ball in a good area. Rich shows there. How has that How not has he missed? Up in the back of the net? Luke Wilson wins the header. Comes to Oakman in the middle of the park. Biles now has got Jesse out to the right. It looks for him. Good ball, you know. Jesse's the other side of Wicker. Can he beat him? Oh. I think he has. Jesse, oh. he's going to do it twice. Now can he deliver? Ball across oh. the floor. Great build up. Sylvester was there at the front post to stop the danger. That left back might have to pay to get back in. Jesse's absolutely mugged him off. And another set piece. And it's going to be seven quid. Seven quid. It's expensive getting back in here. Another corner for hashtag. Jesse's going to take it. Last one was a little bit low. Expect this one to have a bit more height on it. It's better. Look at oh. Petty who wins the header. That was your sweepstake points there. No, no chance. Let's be honest, I've got no chance. <laughs> Luke Wilson closing down the space. It's a good ball from the number eight, Duffy. And Ilford are in behind for the first time in this game. Getting into the box now, getting the shot off and scoring. And just like that, they cut us open with one pass, Ricky. Nothing more frustrating than one long ball cutting us open. Uh, the guy's obviously quick. One ball over the top and... To be fair, it's a good finish. A great ball as well from Duffy in midfield. And the striker had enough pace to keep away from the uh, hashtag defence. Said it a couple of times now. I think we look a bit shaky at the back starting this game. And that just proves it. One real attack and one goal. Evans with a free kick. Richo trying to get under control. Comes to George Smith. Turns back. Gives it to Jesse. Tough one to control. It was on the way up. It's a tough technique. He's got that about him, but unfortunately it don't work this time. Ali on the ball. Try another ball in behind for Ilford. Cav's going to come and get it. Oh, he probably should have used his hands there. He's going to get away with it, though. Could he have picked that up, Ricky? Yeah, he definitely could have picked it up, I think. If he just took one step back, he could have picked it up, but I'm not sure why he's come out and kicked it. Keely with a kick. Better one this time. Keely gets something on it. But Ilford recapture possession. Sam Biles there just to close him down. Jesse with an option here with Richo running beyond him. Doesn't take it. Keeps the ball though. Eventually finds Sam. Gives it back to Jesse. He's got Jack Martin out. He's going to win another free kick. Another chance for Jesse here. Jack Martin standing over it as well. Jesse just lining it up. Can he hit the target? Test this keeper. Maybe get it to bounce before. Oh, he's gone for a ball in instead. Looking for Gleedy. Keeper claims it. Definitely wasn't a shot. And the ref's going to blow up for half time. One goal apiece. One all between Ilford and Hashtag United. Main thoughts from the first half, Ricky? I think we've largely dominated the game. Uh, we've had the better chances, more shots, more play. But every time they've got the ball, we've stood off and they've looked a threat. So although we should be in front, it's probably maybe a draw is a fair result. OK, we'll see what Dev has to say at half-time. Back out for the second half very soon indeed. This is difficult. I'll tell you why it's difficult. Because on the whole, on the whole, you've been good. You've dealt with the pitch really well. I think the system, for me, has worked because it's allowed that extra body forward. We started terrifically. We were winning the ball. In, I mean, the game's been played in their half of the pitch. You win the game. You win the game if you get these things that I talk about right. Because these are the things that are absolutely killing us. And we talk about it week in, week out, every single time. And it, it's got to come from you. It's got to come from you. It's information. The information is awful. We need to press on them when it goes into the middle. We make them play back towards their own goal or rush the pass. Because if, when we do it, we win the ball back and we're on the attack. When we don't, they get a little bit of time and then anything can happen. Anything can happen. You've seen it with the surface. Don't assume the ball's going out of play. Even if it looks like and it's bouncing on the line, it'll bounce back in. There was one your side where everyone stops and I think we only get the throw because the geezer catches it. It's still in play. Same thing going forward. It'll bounce, it'll stay in, go and chase it. Go and make them play back. Go and make them make mistakes. You're going to get more chances. But we've got to make sure we switched on defensively to that 
and we defend and we've got a little bit more conviction about us when it goes forward, a bit more information about us when it goes forward. It is, the information is the big, big killer. And in set pieces we look to fret, but we've got to keep believing in what we're doing because I'm on the border of being angry at that because we've kicked ourselves in the foot again and it's getting boring, I'm getting bored of it. I'm getting bored of the, every other, everybody else gets one chance and scores, and we get loads, and we have loads of pressure, and we don't. It needs to be impressed. It's got, it's got to get better. We can't be happy. Listen, I can say, yeah, you've dominated, and I can say, oh, we're just not that far away from it, but you cannot be happy with coming in here level at half time. No way. You've got to find more. Got to find more. Here we go then, getting things kicked off for the second half here at Ilford. One goal apiece. Big half for hashtag coming up. Chance here. Ball coming in. Albie Keith at the back post. Unable to find the target. Good start for the second half for Hashtag United. Sent forward for I. Heads it. Biles lets it go through to Jesse. Biles looking for the overlap. Jesse coming inside. Lovely bit of footwork. Beats his man. He's got Gleedy to his left. He's going to hit one from distance. Jesse's hit it and it's gone in. And I mean, you've got to have some guts to shoot from there. That's 33 and a half yards out plus. Ricky Evans, what are you saying? Yeah, I'm not sure how it's actually gone in, but great strike. But I think the keeper should have had it. But it's a goal. We're 2-1 up. Jesse gets his second and one step closer to his tally. That is his second goal in his third. Oh, his fourth actual game, if you include the trial. Fourth game today. Two goals and they've both been headline grabbers. So Kalianya on the ball. Clears it long. You know what? He's going to get away with that. He's on side and the defence has gone to sleep. Wilson and... Co, we're not ready for that. Ball into the box, could be dangerous. Ilford trying to get a goal here. Shot from distance. Uh, luckily, Luke Wilson stopped it, but the defence stopped. There was no whistle. That's a crime. It's another chance for Ilford with us defending poorly today. Luke Wilson takes a free kick, looking for Richo. It's Jesse actually gets the other side of his man, tries to put it back in on the left foot. I think if he goes down there, he might have got a pen. The guy was all over him. Throwing into the box for Ilford. It's going to bounce in a bad area for Rice and Garno gets there. Jack Martin needs to clear his lines. He does. Good on the ball. One his headers, one tackles. Right, Adam. Say. Done all right there. Trying to find Richo. It could be in. Richo, if he can beat his man, he might get there first. It's a big save from oh. the keeper. And Albie doesn't get there on the follow-up and it's stayed in the pitch. How have we not scored there? Great work from Richo. Unbelievable defending. Yeah, very good recovery. Richo and Ryan linking up. Not sure we've seen Richo and Ryan playing up front together before. Richo gets a header over to Jesse. That's good from Richo. Ryan's going to become the the runner now, at the forward of that attack. Jesse loses the ball. Fry needs to deal with that. He's onside and he's in. Could be an equaliser. Ball across. Wilson gets there. Could have been an own goal, Ricky. Very, very close. As we said just now, 2-1 is a very, very tight lead. Any bit of luck can change the game and unfortunately a little bubble went through on Friday and they've nearly scored a goal. Corner coming on the left foot. High. Towards the back. Ryan gets something on it. Chance for 12 to put it back in. Cav Clark needs to come. He gets a punch on it. Headed back in. Cleared by Jack Martin. Corner. Jesse. It's a good ball. Good whip on it. Looking for Richo there. Cleared. Wilson gets up. Gets something on it. Nearly finds Peds. Ryan Adams on the edge of the box now tries to find space but runs into trouble. Just got to help it back in there. Put it back in the mixer. Ilford looking for a counter-attack here and they've got players over and the Lino says he's onside. Cove Clark Pick had it. to come. Oh! Does enough. Might even. We've definitely got a free kick. Yeah. Cove's done well there. He's off his line quick. Interrupted the play. Clark with a goal kick. Into injury time now I think. Got to win every 50-50 now. As the game nears its close, it's another free kick given to Ilford. This time Luke Wilson, the perpetrator. Walker's going to take this free kick again for Ilford. This one just going in towards the box. Needs to be headed away for Roy. Gets something on it. Needs to be cleared for hashtag. Oh, Cav Clark gets his body behind it. Throw in. Could be the last attack of the game. Comes straight into the box. Headed away. Needs to be cleared once again. Ryan Adams doing his best. Shot from distance. That should That's be it. Got to be game over. Got to see, though. Keeping the pressure on. There it is. Final whistle. Finally at Cricklefield Stadium. 
That is how long a piece of string is. 2-1 to hashtag United after a pretty tight game, Ricky, wouldn't you say? Yeah, there's times there that we looked on the ropes and probably at times where they deserved another goal. But we've stuck in, we've dug in and we've got the three points that we deserved. Yeah, man, I need a man of the match from you, Rick. Obviously, goals from uh, Jesse with a long ranger and Gleedy in the first half. But who are you looking for for man of the match? Yeah, it's no, not really been a standout performer. As I said, it's been a bit of a gritty game. But I want to go with Ross Gleed. He's one headers, one tackles. He's played the smart uh, way of playing in the final minutes and also got us a goal. And he was the skipper today, of course. So well done to Ross Gleed, who gets Ricky Evans' Man of the Match award. Another win for Hashtag, keeping us up the top end of the table, which is fantastic. Obviously, we'll see what other results do and keep you updated. But for now, we'll see what Devs has to say after another win. Today was a classic case of not killing the game, which, when there's only one goal in it, it always gives the opposition some kind of belief. And there's never a game at any stage where we should have looked like we were hanging on. And for the last five, ten minutes, it did, because we allowed balls to get pumped into our box, and then it's pinball, and anything can happen. We, we dropped too deep, and you were brilliant for probably 75, 80 minutes. You were brilliant for 75, 80 minutes. But then we start to protect. You know, it's that age-old thing we talk about, and we pre our, 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 our instant reaction to protect something is to drop off and allow all that space there, whereas we'd been playing the game for probably... 60, 70 minutes of just being on the front foot, meeting the bounce. Yes, it was ugly, it was horrible. But that should have been a comfortable 2 1 where we're looking at a, a goal that we've given, a, a cheap goal that we've made a mistake on. And it's not about, not necessarily, it's not necessarily about being at our best. It's not necessarily about the other team having pressure. But it is about our decision making and our, our mindset. We go from one extreme to the other. Over positive, we've got to find a middle ground. Over positive, where we flood forward and leave ourselves exposed to a break. To ultra negative, where we expose ourselves to a ball just being lumped into the box where anything can happen. We talk about all the time the reset button. We've got to find it. We've got to find it. Got to find it. Got to an even kill. An even kill. It's good that we're picking up points, but we've, we've got to be better, boys. We've got to be better. Got to be better in our decision making. Got to be better in our our intent and our approach and that's together everyone getting around just getting hold of someone and go come on be better than that well done good win performance needs to be better Gleedy that's a 2-1 win away from home what are the positives and what do we need to improve a uh, good 70 to 80 minutes we've, um, we've dominated to be fair all game it was only the last 10 that we sort of stepped off a bit so I'd say Finishing off the games is something that we need to improve on, but other than that, the boys battled well and we got the three points, so what I can ask for. You predicted before the game that you'd score, and that happened. Congratulations. Thanks, mate. Okay, I'm here with the gaffer, Devs. Uh, we haven't done these before, but we want to start doing these post-match interviews with you. First of all, what do you think of the game? Um, oh, delighted with the win. Uh, I think we deserved the win, but we made it hard work for ourselves, um, especially towards the end of the game. We had enough chances, I think, first half especially, to have won the game comfortably. Um, when you don't take those chances, then you're inviting you know, belief into the opposition and credit to Ilford, they kept going. And I think they drew belief from only being one goal behind going into, into the last 10, 15 minutes and they put us under a little bit of pressure. I think without really creating anything clear cut, um, but they all, all the same, they put us under pressure on a very difficult pitch. And when you're under pressure on a pitch like that, you know, the bounces can go any way. So um, to come away, I mean, before the game, if you'd offered me the win, obviously, I would, I would have taken it. Uh, but we've got a lot of work to do still. Um, we know that. We, we're early stages of the season, our first season at this level. Um, we've got a hell of a long way to go in terms of where we want to be, I think. We've played a lot of games, obviously, and we, we had our league form interrupt a little bit with some cup games as well. But in terms of league form, it is very good. We've won a lot of games now in, in a row, apart from that first game of the season. So what's your kind of... Uh, about 10 games in now, review of the season so far? Um, I'd say solid, could do better. I think we're striving to do better. I think you have to weigh up when you look at it. It's not just about the results, if you like, or even just about the performances. It's about what we're contending with as well. We've got a lot of experience missing. Um, and we, you know, we're just starting to get a couple back maybe, but you know, the likes of losing Jack, um, Jacko, Tom Williams now out for a while. We've missed Ricky for the last, I think, three or four games. Peds has played his first 90 today. 
Um, we, that's a lot of experience in our side um, that's been missing. So we're experienced not just in terms of age and, and, and playing level, but experience of being with us because it is different playing for us. Uh, and the new guys, I think, are finding that, and it brings different pressure. So um, it's, it's been tough, but I think we've done we've done okay. Um, but we know it's going to get tougher. It will get a lot tougher. So we have to be prepared for um, sticky moments. We have to be prepared for difficult moments. We have to be prepared for um, periods of of struggle, if you like, as a football club and as a team. Everybody goes through it, uh, and and. I wouldn't say we're uh, we're firing yet. We're still managing to pick up results, um, but we've got a little way to go, I think, before we, you know, before we, I feel that we'll be firing. We, we, we're not close enough to where I want us to be. Well, guys, that is the end of this video here. A nice two-one win away from home. Scrappy, pure non-league football. We love it. Surely, were you impressed? Yep. Well, at the end of the day, two-one win. Mike got a bit scrappy at the end, but. Three points is all that matters, boys, and we got three it. Three points is all that matters. Fantastic. When it comes to three points, we won't be getting many soon because we haven't actually got a game for the next few weeks. But it doesn't matter because we're not actually going to stop making videos. What are we going to do, Stan? No, no, no. We are uploading videos on the Hashtag United Esports channel. We're back, live and direct. Live and direct on the Hashtag United Esports channel. The FIFA boys are going to be making loads of videos, packs, games, all of that good stuff. For now, when it comes to this one though, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And of course, Shory, what did we not forget to do? Get to hashtag it, boys. Come on!